Hi, I'm Professor Dr. Ashish Davalbuk at Aesthetics Medispan Advanced Aesthetics in Pune. Today's educational video is going to cover the uh, various cannulas that are used in liposuction. Liposuction is an extremely popular procedure. One of the largest number of aesthetic procedures are liposuction done globally. And there are lots of myths and myth, uh, misconceptions about liposuction. But first, it's important to understand what are the technologies that are used and what are the tools uh, that are used during liposuction. So we in one video we did speak about the um, standard saline assisted liposuction, the power assisted and then the ultrasonic assisted liposuction. But in most of them basically what you need to understand is first is that you need to put in a fluid which is a ring lactate or saline based fluid with a little bit of adrenaline to help in reducing the blood flow in the fat that you want to suck out and you want to make the fat liquid or at least filled with liquid all around it. A dry aspirate or removing fat without any liquid can harm the tissues more. So these are, this is an infiltration cannula and if you see that it has very tiny holes all around it and you connect it to an infiltrating uh, tube and you force this saline in through that. You make stab incisions, you know, one or two. These are the usual areas where you make those stab incisions, which are hardly two to five millimeters. And you put this in the fat underneath and uh, in, in this fashion. And then you can put the fat, you can, you know, put the fluid in the fat and tumesce it. So one word is called tumescence or superbate infiltration. So you fill it up with that fluid. It reduces the blood flow and then uh, either with just power assisted, if it's power assisted, then you would use a, a device like this, which oscillates back and forth. Or if it's a vaser, you would use a vaser device and emulsify the fat. That's what the ultrasonic energy from vaser does. It emulsifies the fat. You do it evenly all over, superficial and deep. And then you use uh, cannulas depending upon the amount of fat and the layer that you are going to suck it out from. So this is a 4.6 millimeter cannula and it's from the Vaser device and it is one of the largest cannulas that they have here. And you can see the arrangement of the uh, openings. So um, they help in fairly aggressively sucking the fat out. Uh, and quickly you get all the fat coming out in you know tubes which are like this and uh, it comes into the container and uh, you can you know, discard the fat that comes out and that's a permanent reduction. As you have debulked it with the large cannulas, then you can use finer cannulas. So you drop the size down and then you can go to a 3.6 or a three millimeter cannula as you start coming more superficial and then you want to even out the fat that you have re removed. It also helps the skin to contract fairly well. Once you have done all of this, then you put a stitch in that port which you have made and then give a compression garment and your liposuction is done. So uh, those are the tools that we use for liposuction and it's a fairly established art. Uh, and yes, it's a combination of art and science and that's what make aesthetic surgery so interesting. Thank you for watching this video.